Hello everybody and welcome to Got Next Gaming Amp One Way here with something new for the channel. We're gonna be doing a little bit of Life is Strange. We're gonna do a little series here. Yeah, this game is old and it's been around for some time and I've been playing it on the Mac, but it just came out on the PS4 under PlayStation Plus as one of their free games for June. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. I actually had an idea that I wanted to work on uh, a really long time ago. So we're gonna go ahead and Jump into it and do it here. We're going to be Life is Strange, and we are going to make every possible poor decision that we can. We're going to make all the wrong decisions, no matter what. We're going to try to make all the bad decisions and see what happens. Let's see where it takes us. Let's get to it. We're going to start our save game, and now we are writing on the system. So, new game, play episodes, choices, blah, blah, blah. New game. Let's start it off. Have not played this on the PS4 yet. Like I said, I did dabble with it on the Mac and I had some ideas for it but I never really got around to it but now I'm going to I feel like it's time for something new so let's do it life is a strange life is strange is a story based on a game that features player choice the consequences in your game actions I did not read that fast enough because I was talking too much So I guess this is where my poor life choices start. Is there a way to run? I want to, I want to run. I don't. I don't want to walk. I mean, why would I want to go to the lighthouse? I need to get indoors. Back to a lighthouse with a big tornado. This seems like the wrong decision to make already. Okay. Shit. Yep. That was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. All right, so let's look. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting. It's like a portrait. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Uh, Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But of course. But I like it old school. Isn't that too easy? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So she could shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max as a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. 
The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and for way to get called out in class. As long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Um, you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um,. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Let's read it. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year, blah, blah, blah. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. I got into Blackwell Academy, all bold, capitalized. I got into Blackwell Academy. Stop yelling. Jeez, I love Seattle. Oh, dear. Cliche, cliche, cliche. Cliche, cliche. We'll have to read this some other time. I don't want to read it now. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> yeah. Keep calling me out, dude. Seriously. Not cool. Not cool at all. Anyway. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she? F of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. It's because she's a mean girl. Do we use it? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Of course. A GRLT 64S, $52.99. That is absolutely outrageous. I didn't need to see that. That's fine. Put it back down. Let's go talk to this little uh, scamp over here. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Yeah, poor thing. Let's talk to her because we have to. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Yeah, you just stop doing that. You know, like whatever. You want to grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. But of course. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Let's go to the printer. Uh, let's look at the printer. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. Yeah, I could pump out too. a whole gallery show with that thing. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Yeah, bank. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Can I print a picture? Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. No, it's not cool. I want to use it. Come in. Anything else I can use in here? Oh, look, a photo. What's this a photo of? That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Yeah, whatever. Somebody's got a crush on teacher. Oh, well, look at this photo equipment. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yeah, you are a photo nerd. Poster. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Yeah, great. Uh, photo equipment. Uh, let's see. Look. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Photo. Rachel Amber, love forever. Macro eyes. Go look at my journal. Oh wow, look at that. That's fantastic. 
There's my journal. There's my journal. There's my journal. Oh, we got all the people that, that we've seen so far and talked to. That's fantastic. Okay, let's go interrupt the conversation. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Because he's so dreamy. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, oops. Not what I wanted to do. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Because she probably is. Anyway, uh, let's go take a look around here. More pictures. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay. TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Yeah, more documentaries. All right, let's get out of here. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Always Welcome look to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. All right. People walking by. I need all the derpy little high school kids. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Too late. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Girls, it's sad too. All right, then. In a world without you. American girls, I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Part of the world around you. I hate Driving Willie Jockstrap's like Logan. Andy's a Vortex Club member. Uh, whatever that means. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Yeah, nice. Oh, missing person poster. It looks like she's been gone for months. American girls in the Why do I need to look at the vending machines? I mean, really? They should just call it a sugar machine. Yeah, a sugar yeah. machine, because, you know... You put money in there and a bag of sugar drops out. The sugar's going to drop out in the, oh, there. Sugar machine. Ah, I'm such a rebel of a, of a teenager. All right, let's go to the bathroom. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Oh, woe is me. I'm such a teenager. Nobody likes me. Graffiti. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Not you, I guess. Who would write that crap? <laughs> Fire bell. Stuffs. Stuffs. 
look. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Mm, okay. Because we really needed to see the tampon dispenser, right? This poster must drive people to have sex. You can still love and learn without sex. Time is on your side. So it's so it's common sense. Use it. Right. Right, right, right. Sink. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Potentially. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. I mean, like, why would you go and do that? Why be so cliche? When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Yeah, and a butterfly flaps its wings and is a tornado in uh, okay, girl, Abu Dhabi. Okay, get a photo op like this every day. Butterfly. I'm gonna take a picture of you, butterfly. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Yeah, yeah. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Yeah, the boss. And a jerk. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo. Poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. You get Whoa, dude, that's a gun. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody hella. ever even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoops. She got shot. Yeah, this is all tragic and all, but I, I just have to say something. Whoa. What the fuck? How? You have a gun pointed at you, and you still use the word hella? I don't think so. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand, and then I was back here. It's like magic. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Yes, you actually can. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the... I should rewind. L to the rewind. Wind how far though? All the way. Because we don't want to break our camera, so we'll get the camera back. I did it. There we go. Can you I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured. Yeah, you did. You're like a Jedi. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Not freak yet. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition and max has a gift i know i'm not dreaming course, this you all know, it's real has been i can tell can you tell hundreds your generation so i can go back in time selfie expression 
what if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Who's after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary all right, so let's go backwards again. Let's rewind faster. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre, around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> yeah. The Daguerrean process and nice portraiture work. hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Of course you do. You are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we talk to this chick? I really need to speak to her again. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I have to go. Too much happening right now. Sure. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of the room. Let's leave the room. Feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. And John Lennon's dead. All right, I guess we gotta go back. And stop. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. Let's go Excuse speak me. to him. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm John Lennon said. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Yeah, great. Can we get out of here now? Terrible, terrible, terrible. All right, so let's go find the chick in the bathroom. I hope Good I shot. have time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. There we go. Now we can run. Crazy. All right. We forgot about the sugar machine. Get right into the bathroom. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. Every step. 
I, I washed my in the mirror. I washed my face. Shredded my photo. Yada yada. Butterfly flew in. <clears throat> butterfly flew in. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that ever thing down. Tell me what to do. Well, I'm so I need sick. a hammer to break it open. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that Take gun away hammer. from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Uh, no, but... Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Yep. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Uh, Do not language learning lady. Out. Kiss your mother with that mouth? Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah. Get, boy. All right, let's get out of here. Run. Hold on, Max. Come back here. Really? I got things to do, dude. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Um, yeah, let's report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down, slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' room. But of course, you know. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Nah. Well, I mean, what what can the richest family in town bring upon me, right? After you leave this area, well, I guess that's cause where it's going to kind of be. So I'll tell you what, guys. You tell me what I should do from this point on. You give me your decision. Should I speak to him and change my story? Or should I just move on with the poor life decision? Thanks for stopping by and checking this out with me. Leave your comments below and a like for the video. It always helps out. I'll see you around the channel. Bye-bye now. Outside.